Dual phone cameras are all the rage and LG continues to deliver the most unique take on including a second sensor. Now in its third generation, LG's V30 continues to deliver one of the most feature-complete packages for mobile content creation. Here's a quick tour through this powerhouse camera. No, we're not quite ready to produce a real camera review just yet. This phone is a prototype. Anyone trying to show in-depth analysis right now isn't really giving this thing a fair shot. But using it as my primary phone for IFA in Berlin this year, we can handily share some early impressions. This camera rocks. We were somewhat concerned by the slightly smaller camera sensor over the V20, but LG has jumped through a number of hoops to help balance that against actually improving photo and video output. Using a wider aperture allows the V30 to largely reach parity with phones that use a larger sensor. But the bigger marketing claim this year, LG using a higher quality glass lens element to correct for distortion and improve light transmission and clarity. Is this just marketing buzz speak? Well, we do see some early evidence to support the claim, especially in low light shots like our creepy tunnel, less lens flaring, sharper, crisper lines coming from these lamps, and better image processing for reducing noise and retaining clarity. A smaller sensor often represents a deficit, but generation to generation, this is definitely progress. The wide angle similarly is improved like the G6 before it. Far less distortion, a little more light to improve exposures at night, and for phones focused on changing the focal length, this is the more flexible solution, and LG's enhancements make a useful feature even better. All of these hardware improvements would be moot without a killer app to use them. Maybe the one aspect of the V20's second screen we miss were the quick toggles for modes docked off the main display. The V30 is a touch more cluttered when trying to switch camera modes. Once you get into the manual modes, however, you're treated to some phenomenal controls. Newest for the LG platform is this ability to shoot a controlled zoom, a really pretty way to get a smooth close-up on your subject. And for those who really have a vision in mind for their content, LG's log files are already showing promise for color grading, even if you're absolutely terrible at that like I am. Happily, for folks who aren't as keen on a more cinematographer's approach to creation, across the board, this phone's auto modes are delivering better output than the LGs we've previously reviewed. So much so that I handily relied on it for personal videos, vlogs, and about 20% of all the footage I shot for our IFA coverage came from the V30. We faced few issues blending it in with more traditional mirrorless camera footage. We're early days in, and though we're on pause while we wait to get our hands on a finished retail unit, these first impressions have been formidable. We mentioned in our IFA podcast, this is likely the top option for folks wanting to create content on the go. We could literally shoot, record, soundtrack, edit, render, and upload all from this phone without feeling too heavy a compromise in the process. As always, thanks so much for watching. This will be an ongoing conversation as our coverage evolves, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for our full V30 reviews and comparisons. And help us out with a share on your favorite social networks. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next video.